In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create nice and simple lower third for social media handle in DaVinci Resolve 16 and I am also going to show you how to render this animation in a video format with transparent background so that you can use this animation in your project by simply drag and drop. Hey guys, this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and let's call it Insta and click on create and let's do some basic settings. So click on the shading button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 30 frame per second and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save. And now let's create the animation inside of this fusion tab. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So go to media pool, right click on that, click on new fusion composition and let's call it fusion comp and set it 5 second long frame rate 30 and click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline and then go to your fusion tab and here we have media out so just drag this media out to the side for now and let's take a background first so click on this background button and drag this background to the viewer and make it pure white and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it background one hit enter and now let's attach an ellipse mask with this. So select this background and click on this ellipse button and set it like this and set this width value something around 0.3, hit enter and set this height value 0.3 and hit enter. All right, and now let's import your social media logo that you want to use in this project. So go to media pool, right click on that, click on import media and in this case i'm using this instagram logo which is a png file with transparent background and you can find it on google and i will also provide a link in the description for this so download this logo and click on open and drag this logo on this flow window and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it logo hit ok and close this media pool and now let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this background and connect this green foreground point with this logo and drag this merge to the viewer and now set the size of your logo like that now let's animate this logo so go to on frame number 40 and add a transform node after this merge one so select this merge one and click on this transform button and drag this transform to the viewer and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it animation one hit enter and select this animation one and right click on size click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to one second back in time so it should be on frame number 10 and set this size zero and as you can see we have a very basic animation so go to a spline window and hit f4 to full screen and check this animation and click on fit button and go to very beginning of this animation on frame number 10 and go to five frame forward in time so it should be on frame number 15 and let's add a keyframe over here so click on this button and add another keyframe on frame number 15 and now set the size value something around 1.1 and hit enter and then go to five frame forward in time on frame number 20 and add another keyframe over here and set this value 0.9 and hit enter and then go to five frame forward in time add a keyframe and set this value 1.05 and go to five frame forward in time on frame number 30 and add a keyframe and set this value one and go to five frame forward in time on frame number 35 and add a keyframe and set this value 1.025 and hit enter and click on fit button and select all these keyframe and click on a smooth button and now let's play this animation so as you can see we have a bouncing kind of animation and it's looking nice all right and now hit f4 to exit and close this spline window and then right click on this flow window go to arrange tool and check this option to create 
all right so it will help you to keep this node clean and organized so set it like that all right and now select this animation hit ctrl c to copy and create another copy of this so hit ctrl v to paste hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it animation 2 hit enter and now use this animation for this logo so just drag this logo over here and hold shift on the keyboard and attach this animation after this logo like this and now let's play this again all right so it's looking much more interesting as you can see and go to spline window hit f4 to full screen and click on fit button and i want to create a time gap of two or three frame between animation one and animation two so uncheck this animation one and check this only animation two and select all these keyframe and go to very beginning of this animation on frame number 10 maybe and then go to two or three frame forward in time and hold this point hold shift and drag this on frame number 12 and now close this spline window and let's play this again all right so as you can see it's looking much more interesting all right and now let's add another transform after this animation one so just select this animation click on this transform button and drag this transform to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it transform one And now let's down the size of this so set this value something around 0.55 and hit enter all right and now let's create another shape so we have to take one more background node so click on this background button and drag this background to the viewer and make it pure white hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it background 2 hit enter and let's attach a rectangle mask with this so select this background click on this uh, rectangle button and hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it rectangle one and hit enter and now go to this inspector window and set this width value something around 0 0.995 and hit enter and and set this height something around 0 0.2 and hit enter and set this corner radius one maybe all right and now it's looking like this and then right click on this preview window go to guide and check this option so guide and now let's animate this so go to on frame number 90 and right click on width click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to two second back in time so it should be on frame number 30 according to 30 fps and set this width value zero and let's play this again so as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make a smooth animation so go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen and uncheck this animation 2 and check this rectangle one only and click on fit button select these both keyframes hit s to smooth and set the cti on frame number 30 at a starting point and hold this handle and just set it like that and go to on frame number 40 maybe and hold this handle also and just set it like that and create a smooth curve like this now let's play this so as you can see it's looking much more better and now close this spline window and i want to cut this extra part because we don't need it so we have to take one more rectangle tool so click on this rectangle button hit f2 to rename and let's call it cut hit ok and now set this rectangle box on this area over here like this and now hold shift and attach this cut between these connection like this and select this cut and go to this inspector window and here is paint mode so change this to subtract all right and as you can see we have something like this all right and now let's create a duplicate of this shape so just select all these node hit ctrl c to copy and paste another copy over here by hitting ctrl v and drag it like that and now select this node hit f2 and let's call it background 
3 hit enter and select this rectangle hit f2 and let's call it rectangle 2 hit enter and now drag this background 3 to the viewer and select this background and go to this inspector window and change this type solid color to gradient all right and now let's create a nice gradient color so set this gradient point over here and set this gradient point over here and let's select a nice gradient color so pick this point and pick a nice purple color and pick this point and select this yellow color maybe and add another point in center of this gradient and add a color like this all right and now select this first point and make it move so as you can see it's looking like an instagram theme and then let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this background too and connect this green foreground point with this colored background and drag this merge to to the viewer all right and and now both are revealing at same time so i want to create a time gap of five frame between these two outputs so go to a spline window hit f4 to full screen click on fit button and uncheck this rectangle one and check this only rectangle two and click on fit button select all these keyframe and move this on frame number 35 so hold this point hold shift and just drag it like that and close this spline window and now let's play this again all right so it's looking nice and now select this rectangle 2 and go to on frame number 95 where we have created a keyframe and set this width value something around 0 0.98 and hit enter and as you can see we get this type of effect over here all right and now we have to create a text so click on this text button drag this text to the viewer and let's type your first text so i'm typing follow on instagram and now select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this century gothic which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want all right and now let's take one more text node so click on this text button drag this text to the viewer and let's type your second text all right and now change this font style so change this to century gothic and now let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this text one and green foreground point with this text two and drag this merge three to the viewer and now let's merge this text with the background so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this merge two and green foreground point with this merge three and drag this merge four to the viewer and now select this text one and just drag it like this and set it over here and let's down the size of this so set this value something around 0 0.045 and hit enter and just set it over here like this and now select the second text and let's down the size of this one also so set this value 0 0.07 and hold control and scroll up to zoom in and just set it like this all right and now let's deattach this connection and let's create a matte node so click on this background button and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it matte hit enter and drag this matte to the viewer and select this matte and add a rectangle mask with this so click on this rectangle button and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it mask and set it like that and now connect this yellow background point with this mat and drag this merge 4 to the viewer and select this mask and set it on this area according to this text like this all right and now i want to place this text inside of this masked area so select this merge 4 and go to this inspector window and change this operator over to in 
all right and now select this text and as you can see the text is only visible in this rectangular masked area all right and now we have to connect this output with our background so connect the output of this with this background and we get new merge so just drag this merge 5 to the viewer and do the same thing for this one so connect this foreground with this background and drag this merge 6 to the viewer all right and now let's animate the text so just select this text one and go to on frame number 120 which is equal to four second according to 30 frame per second and select this text one and go to layout and right click on center click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and just set it over here like this and then go to two second back in time so it should be on frame number 60 and just drag this text outside of this rectangular masked area and as you can see we have uh, animation like this and now select this text too and just set it over here like this and go to on frame number 110 and go to layout right click on center click on animate and then go to two second back in time so it should be on frame number 50 and just drag this text over here all right so as you can see it's looking like this and right now we have very basic animation so let's make a smooth animation so go to a spline window again hit f4 to full screen and just minimize all these nodes and uncheck this rectangle 2 and uncheck this text 2 and check this text 1 only and click on fit button select all these keyframe hit s to smooth and go to very beginning of this animation on frame number 60 and hold this point and set it like this and go to 10 frame forward in time and hold this handle also and set it like this all right and now uncheck this text one and do the same thing for text two so check this text two and click on fit button select all these keyframe hit s to smooth go to very beginning of this animation at this point and hold this handle and create a nice smooth curve and go to 10 frame forward in time hold this handle also and just set it like that and create a smooth curve something like this and close this spline window and now it's almost done so go to very beginning and let's play this whole animation all right so it's looking nice and now let's add a final transform after this merge 6 so select this merge 6 and click on this transform button and hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it final transform and click on ok and drag this final transform to the viewer and just set this lower third in center and connect the output of this final transform with our media out and then go to edit tab so go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this all right so it's looking nice and now i want to show you guys how to render this animation in a video format so just go back to your fusion tab and select this final transform and let's down the size of this so set this size value something around 0.5 hit enter and set this lower third in any corner and then go to your edit tab and now select this fusion comp hit ctrl c to copy and paste another copy of this fusion composition so hit ctrl v to paste and right click on that and as you can see there is no option for reverse animation so we have to convert this fusion composition into a compound clip so right click on this and click on new compound clip and let's call it reverse animation and click on create and then right click on this reverse and click on change clip speed and check this option reverse speed all right and click on change and now 
as you can see we have animation in and animation out also all right and now select both the clip and right click on that and click on new compound clip and make it single so let's call it insta and click on create and now let's render this lower third with transparent background so go to deliver page and let's do some setting for transparent video render so select your location first so click on this browse button select this desktop and let's call it animation click on save all right and just go to format and select a format avi and select a codec that contain alpha export so select this codec to grass valley and as you can see there is no option for alpha export so we have to check this individual clip and then check this option alpha export and click on add to render queue and click on start render and then go to your edit tab and now delete this and let's import our render file so click on import media and go to desktop and select this animation and click on open and now drag this animation on the timeline and let's check this lower third on a video footage so just drag this on second timeline and let's import a footage so i'm selecting this one and click on open and drag this footage on this timeline like that and as you can see it's working perfectly so cut this extra video clip and just delete it and now it's done so go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this Alright, so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when I will upload my new video and I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye bye.